Let us now do a fill in the blanks question. A prominent dark band of glandular tissue called clitellum is present in the dash segments of the earthworm. Okay. Is it the 15th to the 16th, 16th to the 17th, 14th to the 16th, or is it between the 13th and the 15th segment? Now, which phylum does earthworm belong to? Earthworm belongs to the phylum Annelida. Correct? It belongs to the phylum Annelida. What is the most unique feature of this phylum? That they show true segmentation or they show a feature that we call as meta. Merism. What is metamerism? The body of the animal is divided into segments both externally and internally and there is linear repetition of some of the organs in each of these segments. Okay, so earthworm shows metamerism. Earthworm's body is segmented. All of you would have seen it. Now all of you would have also noticed, some of you would have seen a live earthworm or some of you would have seen it in a picture or you know on any of the documentaries. Now, you would have noticed that there is a thick band, you know, like a collar, so something like this. So if I have the earthworm, let's say the upper portion like this, you will find a kind of a thick band that is slightly darker than the rest of the animal's body. Okay, this is called as the clitellum. Now, the body of the earthworm is divided into almost 100 to 150 segments. And this clitellar region, the clitellum, is present between the 14th and the 16th segment of the animal's body. Now, what is the importance of this clitellum? It is a glandular tissue. That means it is secreting something. It secretes a substance that is very important during the breeding season, in fact. Okay. Now, this mucus, in fact, it hardens. And it hardens to form, in fact, the cocoon, the capsule around the, what we call as the cocoon. So, Clitellum is present between the 14th and the 16th segment. The rest of the options are wrong. Let me show you the clitellum. Can you see this? Now, between the 14th and the 16th is where you see the clitellum. Earthworm exhibits metameric, that is, animal is segmented externally and internally and repetition of some organs in all segments. Metameric segmentation. There are about 100 to 150 segments in an earthworm. Clitellum is a thick glandular tissue present between the 14th and the 16th segments of the earthworm. The secretion of the clitellum is highly active during the breeding season. It secretes a slimy substance that forms a girdle. A girdle means a thick layer around the clitellum. This slimy substance later hardens to form the capsule, that is the cocoon. So, the right answer, clitellum is found between the 14th and the 16th segments. Now let us look at this question. Identify the correct, remember children, identify the correct statement about the setae in earthworm. Now what are setae? Setae are these small S-shaped structures that you find embedded in the epidermal region of the earthworm. Now, we know that earthworm is a metameric animal. That means the body of the animal is segmented externally and internally. And of course, there is linear segmentation. There is linear repetition of organs in all segments. Now, except the first and the last and the clitella region, that means the clitella segments. Now, what is the clitellum? The thick glandular tissue that you find between the 14th and the 16th segment. Except in these regions, you find setae everywhere. Now, this setae, the main purpose of the setae is locomotion, okay? By the simple extension and the contraction or the retraction, the earthworm is able to move. So, that's what these setae are all about. So, let's look at the option. We need to select the right answer. Setae are L-shaped. No, it is S-shaped. So, this is wrong. S-shaped partition. It's not a partition, right? Setae are present in all segments. No, it is not present in all segments. This is wrong. Setae are absent in the first, the last and the clitella segments of the earthworm. This is correct. The primary role of setae is sensory. What is the primary role? It is locomotion. So, this is also wrong. The right answer is C, that it is absent in the first, the last and the clitella region. If you look carefully, you can see the setae, right, found in the epidermal region. They are the 
minute S shaped structures that you find. Setae are S shaped structures present in the epidermal pits of the earthworm. They are present throughout the body of the earthworm except in the purse, the last and the clitella segments of the earthworm. By the extension and retraction of setae, the earthworm can move. The primary role of setae is locomotion. So the right answer is setae are absent in the first, the last and the clitella segments of the earthworm. That is the right answer. Let us now look at this new question. Which of the following is correct about the earthworm ferritima. Fertilization of eggs occur inside the body. Does it occur inside the body, children? No, it doesn't, right? It occurs in the cocoon. So this is wrong, right? We are looking at which of the following is the correct. The tiflosole greatly increases the effective absorption area of the digested food in the intestine. Now, what is the tiflosole? It is an ingrowth of the dorsal wall of the earthworm or ferritima that you find from, in fact, literally from the 26th segment onwards and almost till the end. In almost every segment you will find it. And this is sort of hanging into the cavity and it helps to increase the area. It, in fact, it increases the surface area for absorption of the digested food. Okay, so this option is correct. This is correct. Let's see the other options. The S-shaped setae embedded in the integument are defensive weapons used against the enemies. No. Now we know that the earthworm or the earthworm species, they have S-shaped setae that are, you know, they are embedded in the epidermal pits in almost every segment, in almost every segment except the first, the last and the clitella segments. Now what is the main function of the setae? It helps in locomotion. So it is not used as a def defense weapon. It has a long dorsal tubular heart. There is no true heart as such. There are five pairs of aortic arches. So there is no tubular heart per se. So this again is the wrong option. The right answer is B. The tiflosol greatly increases the surface area uh, for the effective absorption area of the digested food in the intestine. That is the right option. So you can see the tiflosol. Can you see this? This is the tiflosol. Tiflosol is an internal fold of the dorsal wall in the earthworm. It is present from the 26th segment till the end almost. The folded portion increases the surface area for the absorption of food in the intestine of the earthworm. Setae are the S-shaped structures present in the epidermal pits. Can you see them? Epidermal pits of the earthworm. The primary role of setae is locomotion. Fertilization occurs inside the cocoon and not inside the body as stated. Earthworms do not have a true heart and are not tubular. They have five pairs of aortic arches which pumps blood throughout the animal's body. So the right answer is B. The tiflosol greatly increases the effective absorption area of the digested food in the intestine. This is the right option. Now let us look at this question, a very interesting question. If a live earthworm is pricked with a needle on its outer surface without damaging its gut, the fluid that comes out is, what do you think it is? Well, the earthworm is a true coelomate. That means it has a true coelom. What do you mean by a coelom? It is the body cavity that is formed from the mesoderm. Okay, it is found between the body wall of the organism and the gastrointestinal tract lined by the mesoderm. The fluid that you find in the coelom is called a coelomic fluid. So when you prick an earthworm, I don't know if you have tried it, don't do it. But if you want to try it, if you prick an earthworm with a needle but without touching its gut, the fluid that comes out is the coelomic fluid. Okay. So, the right answer is A. It is coelomic fluid. Is it a hemolymph? No, this is the fluid that you find in the circulatory system of arthropods like cockroaches. This is wrong. Slimy mucus? No. Excretory fluid? Definitely not. The right answer is coelomic fluid. This is the cross section of the earthworm. Can you see? The coelom is found between the gastrointestinal tract and the body wall. Earthworm has a true coelom, a fluid filled cavity which is lined by the mesoderm and is present between the gastrointestinal tract and body wall is called as a true coelom. 
The fluid present inside the coelom is called as coelomic fluid. Thus, when pricked with a needle on its outer surface without damaging the gut, the fluid that comes out is the coelomic fluid. Coelomic fluid is alkaline and milky. The fluid that runs in the circulatory system of cockroaches is called as the hemolymph. So the right answer is coelomic fluid is what you find in the coelom or the cavity of the earthworm. Now let us look at a new question. Which of the following is not true? Children, remember it is not true. Which of the following is not true in the case of the vascular system of earthworms? Now, what kind of circulatory system does the earthworm have? It has a closed circulatory system. That means there is a heart, simple heart. Now, when I say heart, it is actually represented by five pairs of aortic arches. It's not a true heart, but it's a closed circulatory system. That means the blood is carried by blood vessels, closed blood vessels. It is not like an open circulatory system like in the arthropods where the, you know, hemolymph, the blood is flowing throughout the body, pumped out, you know, from a primitive heart throughout into the animal's body, bathing it in all the cavities. No, it's not like that. Here, the blood is carried in closed blood vessels. It's a closed circulatory system, okay? So, now this blood has blood cells, like how we also have blood cells. But the hemoglobin of the blood in earthworm is not found in the blood cells. It is dissolved in the plasma. Okay, now these blood cells are in fact formed by blood glands. There are special blood glands that are found in the fourth, the fifth and the sixth segments. They produce these blood cells. Okay, so now let us look at the options. Blood glands are present in the fourth, fifth and sixth segments. Yes, this is correct, but this is not the true thing. So we'll have to cross it out. The blood cells contain hemoglobin. No, the plasma, I told you it is dissolved in the plasma. What about humans? Where do you find the hemoglobin? In the RBCs, right? It's in a blood cell. The blood cells are phagocytic. What do you mean by phagocytic? They are capable of, con you know, it is solid eating. That means any foreign particle, any pathogen, they are able to engulf it and destroy it. Phagocytic, yes, they are. So, it is true. We'll have to cross it out. Blood is confined to the heart and the blood vessels. Yes, this is also correct. So, we'll have to score it out. So, the right answer, which is actually incorrect, is the blood cells contain hemoglobin whereas we know it is in the plasma this is the closed circulatory system of the earthworm you can see the multiple hearts five pairs of aortic arches i told you it's not a true proper heart like how you would know earthworms have a closed circulatory system and hence their blood is confined to the heart and the blood vessels they have organs called blood glands present in the fourth the fifth and the sixth segments these glands produce blood cells as well as the hemoglobin. The hemoglobin is seen dissolved in the plasma and not in the blood cells as seen in humans. These cells are phagocytic in nature. So the incorrect statements which we have selected or which we know is incorrect is the blood cells contain hemoglobin. This is wrong. So that is the right option for the question.